Hey guys, and welcome back to another Tech Guru video. So today in this video, we're going to be in Photoshop and I'm going to be talking about how to create YouTube custom thumbnails that stand out. So when someone's searching for a video, whether it be a tutorial like what I do, or comedy, or how to do, or how to cook something, they're going to be looking at the thumbnail first. So whenever you search for a video and you're in the search results, it's going to look something like this. As you can see here, there are a bunch of different types of thumbnails, but there are always those that stand out. So what you're going to want to do when creating your custom thumbnails is try to find a way to make your thumbnail stand out from the rest when they're scrolling through the videos after they've searched for them and they'll click on your video as opposed to someone else's and then maybe be interested in your content and then ending result will be they will subscribe to your channel. So here we are within Photoshop like you see here and the first thing I'm going to tell you is this, always create a 1080p thumbnail. This will look the best on all of the different devices. So go up to file and then go to new and then when you create a new file in Photoshop, you will see this panel come open here. Change the dimensions to where you see pixels and then make sure the width is set to 1920 and the height is set to 1080. This is always going to be the case. You don't ever want to change this. Now, one day when 4K becomes more relevant, you will then want to create a 4K thumbnail, but as for now, the 1920 by 1080 will be the best bet for you when creating thumbnails. Click OK and then you're going to see this great blank canvas here. Now I'm going to give you a few tips and pointers on what I like to do and some things, some things that I've found that have helped me. The first thing is go to your rectangle tool here and then click anywhere on the screen. Then you're going to see something that says create rectangle like what you see here. Go ahead and create a rectangle the same size as the canvas, so 1920 by 1080. Once you've done that, go ahead and click your selection tool and then drag that rectangle to be the border of your thumbnail. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to change the color of that by going over here to our properties tab, clicking on the black color there, and then changing that to maybe a bright green. And then what I even like to do is go down to the layers panel and then double click on that rectangle. And then in the layer style panel here, as you can see, I go to stroke. And then under stroke, I change the color to black and then click OK. As you can see, we have a nice border around our thumbnail. Now what I have found is this is a great simple way to make your thumbnail stand out uh, among the rest because you have a highlight around yours. Now if you go to like eBay or different sites like that, if you look at a premium listing, what you're paying for is basically like a highlight or something that brings your listing stands, you know, makes it stand out among the others. I believe by using this nice little border like what we have here, we're able to make the thumbnail stand out. Now, another thing you can do obviously is double click on your layer, the background layer here in the layer panel, double click on it and then open up the layer style panel here. Another simple thing you can do is go to gradient overlay. Now by using Using the gradient overlay, I'm going to move this out of the way. We can see here we're getting a nice gradient behind there. But if we click on the gradient, just like this here, we're going to be able to see the gradient editor. And then we can click on different types of gradients and different colors like I'm doing here. And this is another way to make your thumbnail stand out. So once you've selected a gradient, you can go here and even adjust the different colors. So if you don't like the initial colors, we can go in here and play with the colors and make them whatever colors we want. We can even drag the gradient slider and make it two colors as opposed to three colors and then click here and adjust the colors once more to make it stand out among the other ones. As you see here, we have a nice little color gradient. Again, this is looking crazy, but I'm just giving you guys tips and pointers on what I have found that works when creating thumbnails for videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out of the gradient as for now. And another thing that you've probably seen other YouTubers do is basically create a thumbnail and then add some text to the thumbnail and then go ahead and add their picture. So I have a picture here. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. I have a picture here and as you can see, 
it is a picture of a gentleman. Let's just ex- let's just pretend this is you, and then I'm going to move that all the way down below there, so it'll be below the other elements of our thumbnail. As you can see, you want it to have a blank background or a transparent background, so you can adjust it and move it anywhere in your thumbnail, and that way it doesn't affect everything else. So get a picture of you doing something crazy, sticking your tongue out, you know, yelling, whatever you want to do. I'm sure you've seen it in YouTube videos past, and then go ahead and make it a transparent background. I have a video on how to do that. I'll link that down below. And then as you can see here, no matter what I do, I can drag this and it will not affect my uh, thumbnail at all. So you can put your picture anywhere in the thumbnail. And then as far as creating text, uh, all we would need to do to create text obviously would be to grab the text icon uh, here in your toolbar like I have done here and then select anywhere on your canvas and begin typing. Now what I've learned is you want to limit the amount of text. You don't want a thumbnail to be covered with just text. If you look at my most recent thumbnails as I have evolved over the years, I have a title in the text on the thumbnail, but I also have a couple images that are related to the title or the tutorial that I am doing in that video. So as you can see here, you can type the title here, okay? And then once you've done that, what I normally like to do is select a font that is either all caps, like I choose this one here. The font is called Babes New, B-E-B-E-S-N-E-U-E. It's a great font, it's in all caps, and it really stands out when you're scrolling through and you're creating the thumbnails. Or one that I have more recently liked, I can download this off of defont.com, is a font that is called Riffic, R-I-F-F-I-C. If I scroll down here, I can show you where that is. If I can get to the R's, here it is, Riffic, as you can see there. It's just a nice, fun font that uh, goes well with thumbnails. Now, again, play with it depending on the types of videos that you're doing. If it's a holiday video, choose a holiday font. Uh, again, that's just all up to you as far as what you want to do. And also remember this. When you're using Photoshop, you pay for this premium software. Make sure you're aligning your stuff. So I don't want to go and have my text and title drug over here to where I can't even see it. Photoshop gives you these nice little lines, as you can see here, that, are, that come up, the pink lines, the alignment lines. Align what you're doing to make sure that you're not going to look sloppy when you create the thumbnails. You want your thumbnail to stick out. So again, guys, remember, utilize the, the borders around your videos. Utilize the gradient tool. Utilize some nice, bold typefaced for your font and also if you want to go ahead and grab an image of yourself doing something crazy and then drag that anywhere on the canvas to make it a little more personal and a little more about you so that's my tips on creating thumbnails that stand out i hope this helped you out if it did go ahead and slap that like button down below don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more great content just like this and as always guys thank you so much for watching my videos and i will see you guys in the next one